Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I'm outside of a Starbucks today because we are going to be comparing Starbucks versus Dutch Brothers Christmas Drinks 2024. The inside of this Starbucks hasn't been decorated for Christmas yet, which is a bummer, but they do have the drinks out. So we're going to give the new ones and some of the old ones a try. I think there's about eight different drinks on the Starbucks Christmas menu. So I decided to go with just four today. And that includes this gingerbread cold foam cold brew, the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte, a sugar cookie cold foam, and the peppermint mocha. I've got a pretty good selection here, but I have to say, I do wish I had tried the iced gingerbread oat milk chai because I'm a huge fan of chai and I like the gingerbread flavoring overall. So maybe next time. It's been a long time since I've had the peppermint mocha, but I have to say that it has a very strong chocolate and peppermint taste and you don't really have the, the taste of the coffee there at all. I forgot how chocolatey it was. I think it's one of those drinks that if you're a teenager, it's a great drink because it's all chocolate and you don't really taste the coffee. But these days, I do want to taste more of the coffee in a drink like this. The gingerbread cold foam has a great taste. I do like the gingerbread flavoring, like I said, but, but I think I prefer the gingerbread latte over the gingerbread cold brew in this case. I want more of a, the gingerbread flavor. That happens more with the latte than it does with this gingerbread cold brew. Next up, I decided to try the ice sugar cookie almond milk latte. And I have to say, this was really surprising for me because I'm usually not an almond milk drinker but I liked the light taste of the almond milk in this coffee. It gave a really good balance between the sugar cookie flavoring and the coffee itself. So I would definitely buy that one again. And finally, the sugar cookie cold brew was pretty good too. Again, it's got that strong flavor that cold brew always does, but I do like the flavor of the sugar cookie paired with that more than the gingerbread. Again, the gingerbread just wasn't strong enough in my cold foam. So maybe if they just added a little bit more of the flavoring, it would have been better. The next day after my morning walk, I decided to head over to Dutch Bros and try their Christmas selection. Right away, the Dutch Brothers Peppermint Mocha was a big win for me. I could taste the coffee in it. It had light peppermint and chocolatey flavoring to it, but it was definitely still a coffee drink. I love this one and I would definitely buy it again. And look at this packaging. They've got their holiday packaging on the cold drinks here too. Starbucks doesn't do that for the cold drinks, or at least they haven't yet. I love the Starbucks hot drink cups, but I live in Texas, so I rarely ever buy those. It's fun that the cold drinks have a festive cup too. Next up, I tried the hazelnut truffle drink with the caramel drizzle. And again, this was a big win. You could taste the coffee, the hazelnut, and the caramel. Nothing was overpowering the other flavors in the drink. Dutch Brothers overall does a great job of balancing the coffee flavor with the milk in a latte. Sometimes you get too much milk in a latte drink and it just makes your stomach hurt. Not at Dutch Brothers. I love this place. If you have one near you or if you're traveling and you see one, go try it because they do make great drinks there. Okay, that's it for Starbucks versus Dutch Bros for Christmas drinks in 2024. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite flavor of Christmas drink at either of these coffee shops? I wanna try it. If I'm not testing out the right drink, tell me which one is the best one, guys, because I wanna try it out. Let me know in the comments, which is your favorite. All right, bye, guys.